Evil, in general, does not sleep, and therefore doesn't see why anyone else should. But Crowley liked to sleep. It was one of the pleasures of the world, especially after a heavy meal. He'd slept right through the 19th century, for example, not because he needed to, simply because he enjoyed it. Well, he'd better start really enjoying them now while there was still time. The Bentley roared through the night heading east. Of course, he was all in favour of Armageddon in general terms. If anyone had asked him why he'd been spending centuries tinkering in the affairs of mankind, he'd have said, oh, in order to bring about Armageddon for the triumph of hell. But it was one thing to work about bringing it about, and quite another for it to actually happen. Crowley had always known he would be around when the world ended, because he was immortal and wouldn't have had any alternative but he'd hoped it would have been a long way off. <sighs> he rather liked people. It was a major failing in a demon. Oh, he did his best to make their short lives miserable, because that was his job. But nothing else he could think of was half as bad as the stuff they thought up themselves. They somehow had a talent for it. It was built into design somehow. They were born into a world that was against them in a thousand little ways, and then devoted most of their energies into making it worse. Over the years, Crowley had found it increasingly difficult to find anything demonic which would show up against the natural background of generalised nastiness. There had been times over the past millennium when he thought like sending a message back to below saying, look, we may as well give up now, we might as well shut down Dis and Pandemonium and everywhere else and move up here. There's nothing we can do to them that they don't do to themselves, and they do things we've never even thought of, often involving electrodes. They've got imagination. And electricity, of course. 